God, we thank you for the gift of life, that we get to celebrate all the hope and the promise and joy that babies bring us. Amen. So we thank you. And we also pray now for those who on this day may need your life-giving touch. And so there are sisters and brothers here at the park who need your presence now, who need your comfort now, who need your healing now. We're praying specifically for Andrew, who is recovering from surgery. And if there's anyone, uh, any name of someone in your heart, in your spirit, who needs healing, I pray that you, you hold them in your heart now. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's you. So you can silently speak their name and trust that God hears the names of all that we hold close today. Holy Spirit, you are the great comforter. God, you are the giver of life. So we pray that your healing come. God, I also pray today because um, our nation also needs healing. And so much has happened just even in this last summer that is shaking us all just to wake up. So I pray today for the community of Ferguson and the greater St. Louis, Missouri area. For this moment is symbolic that the struggle for racial and economic justice wages on. And the struggle for human digni dignity wages on. And I stand here praying, God, in fear of just the danger of unrest and the threat of more violence because our young people are at the front lines. So help us to be your church, to bring about your healing in all this, this hurting. May we see this moment as an opportunity for reconciliation. So if you command us, God, to love you with all our heart, our soul, and our mind, and our neighbors as ourself, Help us to see what justice could look like in public when love is simply written into public policy. So keep shaking us up, God, because I, I, I fear that it's just so easy to fall asleep when we're comfortable. I pray also today because our world is desperate for your healing, God. I pray for Syria for the millions displaced and the loss of more than 100,000 lives. I read yesterday that this conflict may bring another world war, and I pray against a world war. In fact, I pray for another way of this world. Show us another way, God. Because if the old way got us here, then I don't think it's going to get us out. So we need your help. Show us another way. There's just so much work to be done, and sometimes, God, I feel so small, and the hurt is so deep, and the suffering is so great, but I know, God, you suffer with us, that we, as, a, as followers of Jesus, believe in a Savior who was hung on a cross, and even from that cross, I believe that death can't even hold you down. So I know, and I believe, and I'm going to pray for resurrection hope, not just in this life to come, but in this very land of the living. So any action, God, that we take for your kingdom to come unto this earth is a worthy act. And I pray that we act from a place of resurrection hope. So give us courage, God. Give us courage to act and to change ourselves and change this world from the inside out. Because I know without you, God, it'll all be in vain. So may your kingdom come, may your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us courage. Give us strength. Heal us. <laughs>